I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Uh, you know, our trainers have done a, a fantastic job of bringing me in slowly, um, and I'm just gaining more and more confidence every day. Ribs are fine, and <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, you know, if they wouldn't put me out there if I wasn't ready to play, of course, you know, there's some soreness that you got to work through, but that's just that's just part of the game. What happened? Yeah, what happened? Um, I don't really want to go into like the details of the crash just because uh, obviously it was traumatic for me but uh, you know it was just an accident and you know I just had some some sore ribs and wasn't until I got back here where I figured out the damage that really was in place and uh, to be smart about it we just had to take some time. You trying to work out and that's when you're able to mm -hmm. feel it? Yep, yep. Um, I needed to do some further testing to really be sure. And after doing that further test, and they were they were telling me that I'm going to need to take some time off to, in order to let let my ribs heal. Everyone okay in the accident? Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. No, no, it actually happened when I was back home um, in Los Angeles, and uh, I came back here a little bit early. Uh, just was working out, just still had some soreness, so they just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Well, you know, see, <laughs> things work in uh, mysterious ways. And, uh, you know, I was able to play with Dion at the Pro Bowl. Um, and we, we actually played on the left and the right side. So I think that I was able to gel with him pretty quickly. As far as Mitch goes, when you talk about two veterans, you guys are able to click a little bit faster than some of the normal guys. Um, when it comes down to terminology and also being with Aaron Cromer, obviously I'm able to fit this system pretty well. So uh, it's, it's actually been easier than I, I ever thought it could be. Did you know Dion at all before the Pro Bowl, or was that kind of your first? Um, I, I knew I knew of I knew of Dion. Uh, of course, you know my college offensive line coach was was a head, um, was a head offensive line coach out here before, uh, Coach Cromer. So uh, of course we would talk about about the guys and just about football and life. But um, I knew of those guys. I didn't get a chance to really meet them in person until, like I said, the Pro Bowl and then actually coming out here. Uh, but it's it's been an easy transition. Really easy transition. Sorry, but how much did that help going here? I mean, you're familiar with what Aaron Crummer, you know, quick out. I think the hardest thing about having a new offensive line coach is having to deal with, you know, the new techniques. Uh, b being able to bring me out there, he's usually he's using me as a dummy, you know, pretty much 70 to 80 percent of the time. So I'm able to help these guys kind of figure out the technique side of the ball while they're helping me out with the terminology. You've been kind of full go in practices here the last couple of practices. How how talented do you think this offensive line can be this season? Oh man, there's there's no limit. There's there's no limit to what we can be, but we got to decide what we want to be, and then we have to attack it. We got to be able to trust technique, and then just trust the program, trust the process, and uh, you know as long as we're working together and communicating, we'll be able to do the job. Is it, how much do you think you need time in preseason games, considering you are new to this program? Oh, I've had a, a million different ways. Um, I've had, you know, no preseason games. I've had, uh, I've done all the preseason games, um, you know, just kind of gradual building up. You know, I've done, you know, just maybe the second preseason game and then nothing else. Um, and I, to be honest, I've done this so many times, you know, you, you know how to make yourself ready for the game. Um, you know, I know that guys want to keep guys from being injured and they want to be smart about it. I think what it really comes down to is my quarterback, quarterback going to be out there because if my quarterback's out there, I got to be out there. How important is it, you know, there's, as you said, guys have been missing from this starting group, guys have been injured dealing with stuff. How important is it to have that time together as the starting five? You know, how much do you feel like you guys need together? You know, th there's an ebb and flow to everything. And to be honest, I think that you learn most about each other through adversity. And because of that, I think it's going to make it stronger, uh, you know, playing for one another and working together. Uh, I mean, you could do reps out of your mind, left and left and right. Uh, but, you know, being able to care about the person next to you and playing hard for them is, is what really matters in this game. You mentioned quarterback being out there, 17. Obviously, you've seen him from the other sideline. What's it been like you know, working with him a little bit? Oh, it's just great, man. You know, I mean, the, the guy loves life. You know, he loves life. He loves this game, uh, cares about his players, cares about this team. Um, that's everything that you wanted a quarterback, and then he knows when it's time to, you know, be that general in there, and to do that at such a young age is, is very impressive. What do you feel like makes Josh good as a player? Like, how does he stand out compared to other quarterbacks you played with? Uh, I mean, his talent and ability uh, is is incredible, uh, but his competitiveness is is kind of like our coach, Coach Dorsey. So you know, those two working together, I'm sure they amp each other up <laughs> day in and day out. So I mean. You know, it's it's impressive to see what this guy can do. I mean, you guys aren't there for any of the walkthroughs, but some of the throws that, that guy makes is just unbelievable. All right, guys. Thank you.